Hello to you newcomers and welcome back subscribers. This is Big Baby Props and I'm the Big Baby. Today I've got an exciting video for you, a brand new armor build. In this video, we'll be building the Sith Acolyte armor from the Old Republic trailers. Now, a while ago, I posted a photo to Reddit, this one here. It got pretty popular. I had a lot of people asking me how I painted it, how I finished it. They couldn't believe that it was all 3D printed. So now that the weather is nicer, I figured I would print a whole set of armor and make one for myself. So consider this episode zero in the Sith Acolyte complete armor build. Over here, we've got a tub full of every piece of armor that will be going into the build. Over here, I thought it'd be fun to include a little scale so that we could weigh the amount of plastic used so that we have a rough idea of how much the suit of armor costs. So for the first episode, I thought it'd be kind of fun to just go over all the armor pieces with maybe a, a like picture off to the side here as we go through them all. I should mention the armor files are from DO3D and the helmet file was a little bit different. I used one from CG Trader. I'll be sure and include a link to both in the description. So let's get started. First, we've got the helmet. This is just the front helmet. There is a back that comes to it, but I didn't think I would need it because the Acolytes have kind of a cloak and robe and they have a hood that goes over the back of their head, so you probably wouldn't see it anyway. But I really like the way this helmet turns out. I have made a few of them. A little side note, if you guys want to support the channel, I do sell prints of this mask with the creator's permission, of course, on my shop. So if you want, to, if you want one of these masks for yourself, be sure and check out the link in the description. And it really helps me out a lot keeping the channel going. So I'll set this aside for now. Here, we have some thigh pieces, I believe. I had to chop it up a bit, but we've got basically a front thigh. Leave these pieces go together, and then this piece goes around to the back side. So we'll be handy. We could add some magnets to them or something so it's easier to put on. So that's one thigh. We've got the other thigh. Oh, let's see. Oh, we've got some gauntlets here. That's really loud, sorry. So the gauntlets are pretty fun. Uh, they might be a little too big around the area here, but I can fit my hand through them pretty snugly. So those will be fun to finish. Okay. Now let's see, we've got some, we've got some groin pieces and pieces that connect to the groin. Oh, this is fun. This is the shin armor. I kind of had to glue some pieces together already just so that I don't have so many pieces. But in essence, we've got the front half of the shin and the back half. These were designed to split apart so I didn't have any trouble because shin pieces can be kind of the hardest piece to fit through if you have really big feet like me. So these will just slide in together like that and we'll probably fit some magnets to this as well so it's just easier to slide on and off so that's one shin here we've got the other shin we've got some shoulder pads these are pretty cool they just go right on there and the acolyte doesn't have any bicep armor so this won't have to rub against anything so that's good and we have down here we have Two different parts. Where are they? Okay, here's the chest armor. It's in three pieces right now. There we go. It'll fit together like so. And it will cover me up right around here. And let's see, underneath the underneath the chest piece is a little rib section, I called it. That will fit right underneath the previous piece, kind of right here or so. And, and lastly, we've got the hand covers. They'll sort of sit on top of my hands like so. And we've got these scary spikes. 
I did have to model these on my own because the ones that came with the original DO3D model were not really good at all. So I modeled my own and we'll just attach them in there and give me some nice looking claws. Okay. So that is all the armor pieces. Let's put the box on the scale and zero it out and then put all the pieces back in, see how much it weighs. And then we can use that measurement to convert it to dollars based on price per kilogram of filament. So here we go. Okay, this thing is mostly balanced and it looks like it is eight pounds, 8.2 ounces. Now keep in mind, this is not including support materials or any rafts that I had to make. So I'd estimate an additional 20% or so, maybe 25%. So probably around 10 pounds or maybe a little bit more. So let me grab a calculator and we'll figure out how much this thing costs roughly. So eight pounds, eight ounces is about, or is exactly 8.5 pounds. So we'll take that times 1.25 just to account for the estimate of filament, I mean, supports and wraps that we had to throw away. So that brings it to 10.625 pounds as an estimate for the total amount of filament cost in this whole suit of armor. Let's do some calculations on filament. Now, I can get a roll of filament for about $11 from Xyltech. I'll include a link to them as well down in the description. It's a good place for discount, pretty good filament. So if we can get one kilogram of filament for $11, that is 2.2 pounds. We'll do 11 divided by 2.2. So we can get a pound of filament for $5, exactly. So we take our previous number, 10.625 times $5, and that brings it to $53.13. That is dirt cheap, guys. Like, that is actually really surprising to me. Now, the drawback is, of course, I had five 3D printers working around the clock. To make this stuff takes a long time, probably close to 400 hours total print time went into this, but like I said, very cheap, and we're gonna use some methods to make sure it's more reliable and more durable and doesn't just fall apart on us. So if you can get a full set of Sith Acolyte armor for $53 and filament costs alone, that's pretty good. And that is why I highly encourage you guys to check out 3D printing for yourselves. I'll include a link in the description to the 3D printers that I use. I think they're the best bang for your buck, but as always, you should do your own research and come to your own conclusions. So I think I'm gonna call it for this video. It was fun. We went over all the pieces, figured out how much a full set of Sith Acolyte armor will cost you for the armor pieces. Obviously there's gonna be more costs into it as we finish it and paint it, but this is a fun place to start. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you follow along with the video series. Like I said, I'm gonna be painting and finishing this whole thing on video for you guys so that you can do it at home. If you have any other questions about my printing process or things that I do, be sure to leave your questions in the comment section. And like I said earlier, if you wanna support the channel, please do check out my 3D printing shop. I list a wide variety of Star Wars props, mostly dealing with uh, prequel era, but as you saw today, we branch out into the expanded universe as well. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you stick along for the full series. It's going to be fun. And I hope to see you guys again in the next video.